Right, second attempt at um, talking about my gear. Um, I'm going to do this in several parts because last time I did it in 19 minutes and it wouldn't Bluetooth to my um, laptop. <coughs> right, so let's start. We have um, the Boss 1982 CS2 compression sustainer. Um, pretty easy, really. Sustain, um, attack, amount of attack, and level speaks for itself, really. I use this for the strat, makes it sound. Um, a lot nicer. I don't use it with my humbucking guitars, although I can and I have done, um, but I tend to use the EQ only. Um, that goes into the Line 6 FM4. I'm doing this a lot faster than the other one, less talking. Um, 16 presets here um, that you can just, um, si not 16 presets, sorry, 16 different settings you can have. Um, frequency controls frequency, Q controls the Q, that's usually for the filters rather than the. Um, um, synthesizers because this is um, filter and synthesizer pedal um, speed s controls the speed mode um, band mode guitar mode bass uh, band pass mode sorry and bass mode and mix obviously dry to wet mix um, on the fourth priest <coughs> sorry I'm quite ill I'm recovering from well, I'm recovering from being quite ill I'm alright at the moment um, up yours. Um, the fourth preset I have on this is um, an Obi Wa, it's an Oppenheimer War. Is it Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer War. An Obi Wa. Um, this uh, is the sound you hear on Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, throw away your television solo. So check it out to hear what that sounds like. Um, for the third preset, I have um, Qtron. Um, up, I think it is, which is um, similar to my dynamic qual, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, I'll explain what that is in a second. Um, basically, an auto bar. On my um, preset two, I have um, Comet Trails, and it's set to sound up like a flanger. It's got a really nice sound. Um, it's like different from more atmospheric than a flanger, um, but it sounds similar to a flanger. Very nice sound. On the first preset, I have. A guitar synthesizer, um, which I use in Liu with um, my Pog and various other things for atmospheric, uh, for um, ugh, I went everywhere for um, ah, what am I saying? I use it with the octaphas and distortion for like really weird um, low sounds. It's pretty cool. Um, moving on, it goes into the Boss AW3 Dynamic War. Um, guitar for, for guitar or bass, this pedal it has several different modes. The first mode being, um, I don't know if you can see that, it's got um, up, down, sharp, humanizer mode, and uh, where these two knobs control the vowels, they become the vowels. Hold on, that's really dusty. There we go. <coughs> um, so they make different sounds, um, very much like the um, voice box that this has um, this has a voice box mode by the way I forgot to mention um, and it also has a tempo mode let's quickly turn this back on I forgot to do this last time as well make sure the equipment's on um, when this pedal's on you hold it down and the LED goes green like this and you just tap in the amount of tempo you want um, the faster it is it sounds more like a um, sort of tremolo sound um, but you can, when you do it slowly, slowly it's, you can use it for more sort of funk or um, typical sort of um, guitar solo sound because it, it, it can basically controls the rock of a wire pedal like that basically like you'll be doing with your foot um, it's also got um, an input for um, an expression pedal which basically once it's in and you've got it on tempo mode um, you use it like um, an actual wah, the expression pedal, unless it's on a humanizer. Um, it sounds like a humanizer pedal. Um, and you can also put a control switch in there where you can do the tap tempo um, on the, the separate foot switch itself rather than on the actual pedal. And the LED is always green them, which look cooler, but I have one laying around but I don't really use it. Um, going from then, it usually goes into the back store, but I've now got it up here going into the Electromonics Freeze, really cool pedal, this is a sound retainer, um, it basically freezes your signal and um, 
you get just an extremely, well, continuous drone. It doesn't stop. A continuous drone of um, the little sample. It's freezed of that sound. It sounds really cool. I use that in conjunction with the Pog. I'll get onto that later. It's got um, three settings. You got the, the normal latch. You click it and it will latch on. And it will always hold that sound. Every time you click it, it will do a different sound when you play a chord or a note, for example. Um, or high and low. You have to just hold the freeze and then we take your foot off the sound's gone whereas when you got the latch you have to have everything silent and click it and then there's nothing going on you can either have it um, uh, um, hold held really slow or fast and this is the end of part one because it's five minutes stay tuned for part two